Hagen. Hope you guys are having a good time uh, down uh, wherever you're from. We are definitely having a good time here in Copenhagen. We're going to have another match for you guys, MTW versus Power. We're going to have back-to-back -back matches, seeming uh, you know, they're still scheduled to, to be caught up on. And we are going to cast whatever we can. So the knife round is actually live right here. It's, uh, it's probably uh, going to be one of the most exciting rounds here. <laughs> and there, oh wow, MTW getting destroyed. Only Mazzarini actually uh, dropping for the Power team. Uh, I guess they are quite comfortable, the uh, power team is, is quite comfortable uh, waving around those knives and they call defense first. <laughs> oh, wow. Burdock saying they never won a knife, so he's uh, quite proud of himself. Uh, hey, uh, you know, if, if you win a knife round, at least you won one round, right? Might not show up in the score in the end, but you did something right. Some good, uh, good, good tips you can take uh, take from that. So yeah, SEC, uh, <laughs> the Steel Series Esports Challenge, it's gonna go late into the night. Um, I'm not sure how many matches, if, if there are gonna be matches after this. I see, uh, I see Reason set up across from me, so there might be another Reason match uh, from the looks of it coming up as well. So I have no idea whether uh, this is a uh, if this is the last match, it, it, yeah, quite possibly there's gonna be more matches after this. And uh, we're waiting for the the rehost. We're waiting for the admin to be like, okay, dude, no problem, I've got this. Which is uh, today's uh, today's <laughs> today's keyword. People asking for Oz. Oz is not here. On the mic, you've got Martin. Martin mumbles. You must have heard me recently. I've casted uh, I've casted the reality once. That's reality nine, I think. I've casted CD4 there. Uh, I've, I've done a good share of matches since Theater 4. Lately, I've, I've been focusing on StarCraft 2 since the beta is out, and there's uh, there's more, need, more money to be made in casting that, honestly. <laughs> so let's see. We are going to ready up and uh, see if we can get this uh, show on the road. Tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> a lot of bands are going on in chat, and I gotta say, these teams are so well mannered on land. Like online, you see a lot of shit talk going to and from, but on land, these guys are like sweethearts. <laughs> Flowers from the Netherlands, huh? Not like me from the Netherlands, how's that? Yeah, we go readied up, and we are good to go. Feel spas being called by Froster, so uh, have fun. Shouting going on, last, uh, last second cheer. Let's see if it, uh, it actually helps him. I didn't actually see which team it was, but I heard a lot of shouting. <laughs> so let's see, Taksha now guarding that B site, being a uh, well, setting up reasonably aggressive, but then uh, then holding off. Mazarina right now getting two kills. He's uh, he's apparently the guy to follow right here. Cross Main Street and no, finally gets shut down by Thunder. Two and three situation though, as Mazarina definitely did his damage. Paradox right now needs to keep himself alive with that scope. Does manage and gets uh, a nice view on Main Street. Spamming towards that car, hoping to, to get a kill through it. Oh, now the incoming spam needs to be very careful. Let's see who's actually behind that car, if we can find him. Uh, nope, I guess we cannot. <laughs> there it is, it's Thunder. Thunder actually moved up and is starting to go for the kill right now. No, it was late. He managed, Paradox managed to escape with a, like a sliver of health. Very well done. It means the bomb right now is uh, being covered by Thunder. And oh, Froster <laughs> saying, uh, well, hey. You can just use, uh, we can just use Paradox as bait, you know, we'll just send him out there and we'll just kill him and kill Thunder as soon as he goes for the kill. It works out for them and the defense take this first uh, first round power uh, power playing quite convincing, especially Mazarina. So we're going to follow Mazarini from the start this time, see if he can make something happen. Again, being very aggressive th towards that smoke, spamming away, tag someone up pretty badly, tags Yochi, Yochi <laughs> up pretty badly. Now trying to, to push up even further, oh that's a really aggressive play, he needs to be very careful right now. Vice is gonna get decapitated by bullets over there. Tags up someone, tags up, uh, well, I think it's again Yochi. He's got he's got like bullet magnets on a Yochi right now, and they're finally the kill on Yochi. Meanwhile, though, his teammates are falling down left and right. It's just Takshi and uh, Mazarini like, right now left standing. The clock is going down, but no, Plotch and Hornies finished off in style getting kills on Takshi and uh, Mazarini in. Uh, <laughs> Frustrated. Is, oh, okay, I'll, I'll just turn my monitor on now. Sorry about that. I didn't have my monitor on. That always happens. So let's see, he frosted. Let's see what he can do. What he can do when actually can see stuff. Pushing towards that statue and uh, 
I, I got admired at the power the team is playing very aggressive defense and uh, making it happen for themselves. Paradox there with a very nice scope, so uh, we're gonna see uh, no Paradox with another kill. Just Jachi and Jetlag right now standing for the, the MTW team. Plash here uh, uh, went down uh, harshly. <laughs> so let's see Jachi over there. There he is. Tagged up pretty badly, so he's under fire. Needs to be careful right now. He's uh, trying to make something happen at the B side, but the bomb is down in the 4 and 2 situation. It's not a situation you want to play from. And meanwhile, his teammate Jetlag does go down. He needs to rotate that back towards that bomb. No, <laughs> Toxic doesn't even allow it. Shoots him down in the back. No mercy for. Uh, for the MTW team, no mercy for Yachi. Shot in the back, you know, like a like a coward staff. Two to uh, two to one to score. We see some nades come out. We see Plasha here with the nade, trying to, to get that A side under fire to, to get the power members rotating over. But no, power again. Power is just coming so strong out of that uh, out of the start of the map. Yeah, it's already uh, down to two on five, and uh, Plash is under a lot of fire with that bomb. Not looking good at all, and Thunder is in the same position. They, they are nowhere near advancing. They already lost uh, more than half their team. But there's still a full power rosting standing. There it is. <laughs> uh oh, Lubishmir with the go on Plotch. Nicely done, and it is all up to Thunder. Thunder, can he make it happen? No. Lubishmir with yet another kill. Uh, you know, getting the last two kills that round. Well done for him. And the 3 to 1, the score power is dominating so far. Of course, a lot of people, say, some people do say this is the defense side of the map. Uh, my my state my my stance on the matter is that it, it starts out being an offensive side of the map because they can de dedicate uh, de <laughs> they can or they can uh, order the play around they can force one position and and require the require the defense to, to respond a certain way and of course dictating the plays is an advantage so uh, you know, the, the advantage you know the advantage early on is for the attacking side but then as, so as soon as that start off is is, for, is passed it becomes a defensive map more and more the longer the round goes. So in the end, it's still a defensive map, but it starts out being actually offensive society just because they get the control over where to move. Right now, uh, MTW is making uh, make themselves uh, known, but <laughs> then falling left and right, Joshi went down. Let's see if we can find Thunder. Thunder under a lot of fire, and Hornies goes down quickly as well. These power, these power gamers, they're they're like uh, going after the MTW team like a pack of hungry dogs. Four to one the score, and uh, yeah. Now we're gonna see Libishmir, we haven't given him much coverage from the start yet. It's uh, at that statue right now. Is he gonna move all the way past? That's some really aggressive defense. If he gets a pick, I'll be impressed. Let's be very careful right now. Knows there's probably playing out the players on the other side, but no. The, <laughs> the MTW team is actually going inside, so they're actually gonna walk by. Of course, that gives Libishmir a perfect opportunity to try and go and, and then go for a flank, but no, he, uh, he, goes, he goes around and hopes to, to stab uh, one of the the MTW players in the back, as they are right now planting A, I believe. believe. Tick tock, yes, it is a plan on A. And now Lubishmi realizes, oh wait, they actually passed here. Gets a uh, gets a planter though. The planter is jet lag. Does go down and uh, honestly, in a two two v two situation, he should try to, to go for rush defuse. Yeah, he does go for rush defuse, but oh, is that too late? Here's someone come in. It is Plotch coming in. Plotch gets the kill. See, oh, I, I agree with uh, Lubishmir's play there, going in for the fast defuse. Uh, he couldn't make it happen in the end, but uh, he did his best. Yeah, it, w it was a correct decision. Let's see, Mazarina off the spawn. Usually, uh, trends of rush on Main Street. This time being a li uh, bit more passive. Finally heading into that smoke. There's gonna be a, <laughs> a, a, a player there, right to his right. Yeah, it is Plotch. MTW Plotch does go down. Let's see, gets another kill on Thunder. So far, Mazzarini is going hot. Two kills to his name. See if he can make a, uh, can go for the ace. No, cannot. Yashi's not gonna let that happen, and Jetlag uh, replies it well for the MTW team. Even it back up to a three on three. All, uh, <laughs> all Mazzarini's hard work was uh, just uh, eliminated there for a second. Then uh, Froster gets the kill on Hornies, and it's uh, once again uh, a power favored, <laughs> a power favored round. Let's see, Jachi and Dead like right under a lot of fire, but uh, there it is, Takshi. Uh, Takshi with the, the flank going all the way around and getting the kill. Froster wrapping it up, getting the kill on Dead like, and 5 to 2 is the score. Well, uh, you know, at least MTW is, is starting to take some rounds. On Assault, it's not, you know, it's, it's not a, a terrible position uh, to play from if you're behind a few. A dead lag spamming into that smoke, hoping to get uh, well, get, get someone with a little bit of luck and timing. 
but not gonna happen. Libeshmir, I got Libeshmir and Frosty, right? That's it's impossible for us. Go down very quick. Mazarini goes down as well, but Jachi for the MTFW team doesn't manage to stay alive either. Not right now. It's all of the Tuxia and MTW there with a very dominating round. Not going for any kind of tactic, any kind of plant, but uh, just uh, straight up uh, kill, kill round. Well done for the MTW team. That makes the score five to three. I can hear all kinds of music going on right now. It's not even funny. I can't even hear myself. Let's see, Takshi right now going down first, but we're gonna follow jet lag, see if we can get some uh, scope action going. Oh, it doesn't seem to manage to, spamming through that wall. Hope the spot one does not, looking across Main Street, sees this nothing but his teammates, so knows it's time to, to push up, and needs to be very careful right now, otherwise he's gonna get flanked by uh, what I'm uh, guessing from the position would be Lubishmir. So uh, Lubishmir, uh, yeah, he's about to get a shot on him. Oh, he gets, uh, Lubishmir gets a shot on Thunder, and Jetlag does not manage to, to make his, uh, his bullets count. Tries to no-scope him there, Jetlag. That's a bit of a, an awkward decision. They should have taken a little more time, and then gets uh, gets another two chances, and uh, finally switches to the handgun. Still cannot make it happen. Who is it? <laughs> oh, wow, there's someone playing like a hero over there. It's Froster. Froster's like Superman right now. If again gets tagged though, but still plenty of help left. Just uh, doing the dance with jet lag right here, and finally, yeah, Froster comes up on top. <laughs> wow, nicely done. That's a nice, uh, nice little duel these guys had. So let's see if we can follow Froster. There he is. The bomb is down. 30 seconds for him to, to get it defused. He needs to be very careful right here. He's rushing up into that building. Oh, don't don't get shot down from behind, man. He needs to watch his left. There's another one on the right. And is there a smoke? Yeah, there is a smoke going down. It's uh, Oh, he spams the wrong corner. Pre-fires. Tries to get lucky and goes for a defuse. No. Hornies uh, with a proper spam. Takes him down. 5-4. to four. before the score and MTW uh, yet again collecting around so MTW pulling it back some yeah, they're keeping this uh, interesting for us let's see if we can follow this uh, the, the op for uh, PWR there it is jet uh, no it's not jet that's jet lag I guess I can't find the op <laughs> there it is paradox there we go I guess I'm not that familiar with the power team uh, Looking across, tries to spot one at the statue. Spots one, but does not take the shot. Needs to be more careful, and then just tries to blind fire into the smoke, which is uh, exactly what you want to do with that position. Hope you get lucky. You know, the MTW team is uh, falling one by one. The two on three situation does uh, does evolve, and Gachi with the cone frosting means that it's going to be back to a two and two. The bomb does go down at that. Uh, a I think the bomb is down at the A site. Should be down at the A site. Yeah, it is. And uh, Paradox trying to trying to peek and then get one. He's now being too aggressive with an up. Yeah, Josh, he makes him pay for his uh, his aggressiveness. And Takshi right now all alone against two players from MTW. Picks about picks up the frag on Jetlag. Can he make it happen? Can he go clutch? 19 seconds. Oh God. No. Oh, a lot of fire going through from it. No, finally Joshki with the kill, uh, managing to keep that bomb ticking. Of course, Takshi, the the player that had to make a move there. And that means we are tied in this map. <laughs> so it's not something you uh, would have expected from the start of uh, this match. But they are making this happen. And two more rounds to, to split up uh, the, the, the fight over in this first half. Froster with a nade on the card there kills jet lag. That does, does eliminate the MTW scope, which uh, could be huge. Could potentially be used, I guess, as a, as a great way. Plotch right now being too aggressive and not spotting the player that's right there. Mazzarino was right there next to him, gets the kill, easily done. Meanwhile, uh, Thunder getting a kill for his own. Santakshi. There we go, Paradox now uh, under a lot of fire. Let's see if we can find Paradox. Paradox with that op shot, is in the building, is under a lot of fire. He's being hunted down right now. He's got that deagle, he's got a good chance, honestly. Oh, not if he spans it through the wall. Trying to, trying to bait that MTW player into, into making a move too far, but it is Thunder, and Thunder goes down to Froster and said, Froster to the rescue here for uh, for Paradox. There's a scope again. Oh, he spots the head sticking out, but does not get it, and tries to fire. Oh, very nicely done. Nice shot on Hornies there. And six to five. I guess Power is uh, not going into this half with, uh, you know, with uh, a round behind at least. They want to guarantee themselves at least a tie, and uh, hopefully uh, take another round. 
put him in a, in a decent position right here. Nate's going off left and right, and there is Plotch taking the fall first. Broster uh, with the set nade on him. You know, Mesorini Mes Mes is again being very aggressive, and it's paying off so well. He's doing so much damage, but the MTW team is dying left and right. Horny is in dead lag right now, last two players standing. But oh, Paradox uh, just, just managed to, to stay alive by an inch, and Toxie gets the kill, so it's all up to Horny's right now in a 2 1 situation. He's gonna go for the plant. He's gonna. Oh no, he's not gonna get it done. Very nice shot by Paradox. I didn't expect him to get that shot. I actually thought he was gonna get it down. But uh, well done at the round. It means it's a 7 to 5 score in favor of the power team. And uh, yeah, we are gonna continue this match uh, as soon as they're ready up again. See, once again, this is the Steel Series Esports Challenge live from Copenhagen. I am Martin Mumbles on the mic. Bring the action live. I am usually joined by uh, our, our friend O to the Z to the bot, Osbot, but Osbot is uh, getting drunk, honestly. <laughs> I'm not even lying. He's uh, hitting up the drink and farting out uh, to, the, to the awful, awful music outside. Here we go, and we are once again going live. So let's see uh, if MTW plays, uh, plays a convincing defense, you know, and, uh, a dominating defense, and pulls this map back towards their favor. Let's see, the scope is the interesting to want to follow here. Jet lag takes position and uh, firing that a smoke. They have to be careful not to hit his teammate there, but uh, proper timing. Managed to zig just between the zag. Joshki goes down in a uh, four and five situation. Flash goes down as well. Five to three, four to three right now. Oh, this is going to be a very quick round. Let's see if we can find one of the MTW players left standing. It is Hornies. Hornies is set up at that A site. And really, I think he's going to get pushed over there if he doesn't rotate over. Yeah, he does move. That's a good call. Now we can actually get a flank going if he, uh, if he hurries up. Dead lag under a lot of fire, and this will be calling that. See, nicely done. Gets the flank on Toxia, and that uh, makes it back to a two and two. This is a far more promising position to play from obviously see now a lot of spam going down power uh, bunched up together and uh, trying to make something happen a lot of nades coming to that B side because they know that we're going for a plan there that B side right now is taken so it's just a matter of putting down that bomb and uh, there's nothing but hornies there to defend so is he gonna make something happen is he gonna pull up is he gonna come up clutch well he gets one he needs one more hornies can he come up clutch one time one time Get that kill on Froster, can you do it? Yes, he can, comes up clutch and seven to six a score. MTW with yet another round. Horny's coming up clutch with that 2v1, well done. Toxie now pushing up with uh, the early set nades, of course. It's gonna, it seems to be uh, favoring that A site. He tries to pick someone uh, over that's rotating towards A, one of the defenders spamming into that smoke, but no. Now if you're up that high, you're also vulnerable yourself. Thunder finishes him off after he takes a lot of damage from the nades. You know, Paradox goes down as well for power gaming, <laughs> but Plotch and Thunder actually down for the MTW team, so we're here all even. Deadlag now with the kill on uh, Lubishmir, so let's see if we can find Deadlag. Deadlag over there with the scope at the B side. Has another MTW player uh, covering him, but needs to be very careful about the, the, the power get player just uh, on his right here. Power player is going into that building, so he's probably going to exit out on, the, on Main Street. Or I wrote that back. Mio you know, Mazzarini with the go on Jachi, so it's back to the two on two. Get like during deciding to be aggressive. Needs to be very careful. Needs to check that right room. Does check it and does get the kill on power. Well done. Not surprised by uh, by Froster's move there, even though it was rather sneaky. But we're gonna switch it on over to Mazzarini because he is that last man standing, so we're guaranteed to get some action here for power gaming. He's encroaching on that B side. Needs to be very careful because honestly, uh Everything's been focused on this B side so far this round, so uh, there's not going to be any doubt in the MTW team uh, where, where that bomb is unless he waits for a very long time. Need to stick to right. Oh no! Jet lag actually pops out before Mazarini even has a chance to check the corner. And 7 7, we are tied. MTW is showing that this is a slightly defensive sided map and uh, how they can make it work to their advantage. Let's see. Jet lag looking across Main Street. Did you see the cars? Explode left and right, firing into that smoke, hoping to blind fire someone. No, not gonna happen. Fortunately for him, no kills. Messerino and Paradox both getting kills today. Messerino with yet another kill. We're gonna see if we can follow him. 
There he is. There he was. There he was for less than, less than a second. There he is again. I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I'm a bit hyper and uh, solo casting for this long is a, is a bit of a pain. <laughs> 2 and 3 situation does evolve. Paradox, Mizrini, Toxia versus Hornies and Jetlag. The A side is, uh, is, well, is secure right now. So are they going to make anything happen there? No. Jetlag goes, for, uh, goes down. So right now it's all up to Hornies. Hornies uh, in a one of these two ways, spams away, gets one, gets Paradox. Uh, well, actually gets killed by Paradox, gets Messerini before he gets taken down. Uh, good effort, good effort by the MTW team, but uh, Power Gaming not willing to give up their lead so easily. So 8-7, to seven, once again, uh, this map being very close. Jetlag trying to spam into that, uh, up into Main Street, into that uh, Main Street stores. I think Main Stores is, uh, is the correct, guys, uh, yeah, the correct uh, way to address that spot. So we'll see if uh, well what power can do here on the offensive side. This is more exciting. They're doing. Uh, they're fo definitely focusing on the A side. They need to be very careful right now because uh, there's some nice op cover on that uh, that side. It is Lubishmir right here trying to trying to get across that road <laughs> towards that A side. That sp uh, spells a lot of trouble for him. But oh, nice go on jet lag there. Has, has got need, needs to be very careful right now because there's more MTW players just waiting for him to to do something stupid. And there's the incoming fire from Plotch, and he does tag Plotch up a little, but no, Plotch comes up on top. You know, was he earlier had had the side earlier on the, on him, and eight versus eight is the score now. They are keeping this ma match as uh, close as they can, tied once again. And 16 rounds in, out of a potential of 25. My quick math tells me. <laughs> so we see jet lag spamming away, but not doing much of anything. So we're not going to follow him anymore. Gonna follow Jachi right here, setting up at the A side uh, solo. Let's see what the power team is up to, just so we can see where the offense is actually going. The offense is a uh, slow pushing Main Street, so they are uh, leaning towards that B side from the looks of it. And they are focusing heavily on that paradox with that bomb, throwing the nades into the B site, not connecting. Oh, that does connect actually on dead lag, but does not get the kill. And oh, very nice shot on Horn there, very nice headshot. It's a it's a nice op shot to pull off. Ooh, we gotta be very careful now. He's three to two. He paradox does manage to stay up. And yeah, because the uh, <laughs> the MTW team all rotated over to B, they are gonna they take the easy way out and, <laughs> and rotate over themselves as well. Plan A, they're gonna have a, we're gonna have an easy time doing that. No problem. Joshi and meanwhile under a lot of fire. Needs to be careful not to die before you can even think of retaking this side. Toxie with the kill and plush. So it's all up to Joshi right now. Joshi, can you make something happen? Can you make the miracle happen, man? Tags up one, tags up Lubishmir very badly for the power team, but no, no kill yet. Come on, can make it? Oh no, Lubishmir. In the end, Mosem down nine to eight. The score and power gaming once again, one round ahead. This is definitely not a quickly, quickly. These uh, rounds are going to and from. They are splitting them quite evenly, but uh, it seems that power is just getting a little bit of an edge on that. Of course, that doesn't matter. The only one that's gonna, the only advantage that's gonna matter is the one at end. And jet lag there gets a uh, gets a hit on paradox through the wall. Not enough to kill him, but does uh, does considerable damage. Thunder here with the kill on Froster, meanwhile. So um, I definitely, if, if this is a, yeah, this is another MTW uh, round. Well, it might not be Hornies with the kill Mazzarini, but the Toxi uh, replying right back. So it's a four on three situation still in favor of MTW. Yeah, MTW trying to tie this up once again. This is not the. Uh, not the first time. Three and a three situation here. Let's see, looking across that main street, looking towards the statue to move to his site. Spamming away, Takshi does do some damage. He does tag up Jachi, but uh, not enough. Right now, last man standing in a one on three situation. Honestly, I think we're going to head towards another tie. We're going to be tied at nine. And uh, yeah, Jachi Jux is, is taking this very slow. Apparently this is just a, uh, and this is another strategy to actually let your team sit back and relax and just let them uh, get their breath and uh, get their mindset in right order. Let's see, 3-0 to score, there we go. 9-9 to score. Tight once again. Now, MTW needs to, to, to pull out ahead if they actually want to bring this home. So right now would be a good opportunity for them to take around. Of course, when is it not a good opportunity to take around, really? This is just an especially good opportunity to take around. Power Gaming now very, being a very aggressive push on A. Spam towards that statue. It's actually we're going to switch on over to one of the players down below because they're way more interesting to follow right now. Power set up, uh, Mazarina set up 
at that A site. There's the bottom down. As soon as he, he even lifts his head, he gets decapitated by Thunder. And it's all up to Takshi right now. One or three, one or four situation. It looks like MTW is going to pull out ahead. Is he going to get it done? Uh, I, I, I highly doubt that Takshi is going to get this round. I'd be amazed. He needs to be careful. He's not. He's not. He doesn't get flanked. Trying to inch towards that bomb ever so slowly. Hey, he does spot Thunder, but that means he does <laughs> give away his position. There's MTW players on both sides of him. See, there's a spam, and he is completely cornered. Needs to, to fight for his life right here. Can he get it done? No, jet lag. Jet lag doing what he's supposed to. You know, uh, finishing the round as, a, as he should. That is a, that's a decent kill, and MTW now with the lead. Haven't seen uh, MTW with the lead for quite a bit. He's in power take uh, round after, uh, after round. Let's see. Nine to ten. Off the spawn, we're gonna follow Plodge. Plodge being very aggressive. Wow, and we're gonna see. We can get a quick low from from O to the Z <laughs> to the Z to the bot, who's apparently uh, quite intoxicated. <laughs> Hello. How much have you had to drink so far? Uh, eight beers. And that's why I'm casting solo right now. <laughs> uh, uh, you can have some if you want, man. <laughs> okay, well, meanwhile, this match is going on. Power is uh, in a 4 to 3 situation right here. Need to be careful uh, if they want to actually keep this uh, <laughs> keep this lead. Cheers, yeah. man. <laughs> going to be in a bad position. Uh, they're going to be tied <laughs> once again at 10. Jet lag. Can you get that kill on the, the, the power playing the player just around this corner? Oh yeah. Me? Oh, you still the mic. So uh, <laughs> we got a three and two situation right here. Let's see, the A side is being pushed. I'm trying to defend that. Oh, there he goes. Plan is down. Two and two situation. Can MTW extend their lead or is Power Gaming going to tie this up? There you go. Very nice kill. Joshi finishes it off. And we are once again tied 10 to 10. This is as close as it can get, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Round for round. Is it still on? Hello? Yeah, man. Uh, I only just came here, but MTW are playing really well tonight. They, they are putting up a solid fight. Uh, they're doing a lot better than I thought they would. I'm like amazed. I, I know a lot of MT, MTW Warcraft 3 players, but none of their COD roster, to be honest. Yeah. Well, actually, no, I do know uh, Flash and, and Jachi, so it's, I guess it's not a complete ro lo roster that is a mystery to me. I'll tell you what, man. I'll leave you to it. I don't want to bother you anymore. There you go. I'll only say one thing. Visit Team Pentia. There you go. <laughs> well, well I, I guess uh, O to the Z to bot is going to get some more beer in him. <laughs> Apparently, 8 is not enough. Got to go for the 9, got to go for the 10. Which is exactly what these teams are facing right now. You know, you had to go for the nine, had to go for the ten. Right now, trying to go for that eleventh round. And Horny's right there, going down to Takshi. A very nice kill, and that leaves Jachi to be the last player standing for MTW. It's not a good situation to be <laughs> to be an MTW fan right now. Oh wow, Takshi being very aggressive, just jumping up and uh, running all over him, mowing him down. Brutal. <laughs> So we're going to see uh, if uh, Power Gamer can finally uh, at least guarantee, guarantee themselves a, a tie, which honestly, a tie in this matchup would uh, be quite deserved. Both teams are playing exceptionally well. So they're uh, playing above their level. <laughs> Paradox, I believe, with the opening kill on uh, on jet lag. Let me see Marzarini get a kill on Thunder. So it looks like Power Gaming is, uh, is going to force the issue here. Let's see if we can find one of the MTW players. There we have Jachi. Joshi rotating over towards that B site. Need to be very careful right now. I think most of the power gamers are actually at the A site, and uh, B is actually a bit of a fake, so. Yep, they are gonna go for the. Uh, okay. They are gonna go for, <laughs> for. For the aggressive play right here. Talks to you. Right now, can he make something happen? Joshi, the last man standing. This is uh, you know, do or die time. Oh, nope. Lubishmir mows him down, and it is 12 to 10. This has been a long time since we've seen, we've seen more than a two-round lead. So uh, it seems that Power Gaming at least guarantees themselves a tie. You know, they're going to have two match points. It's going to be up to... It's going to be up to... 
the MTW to get themselves to die. You know, they have to work for it now, and Deadlag does indeed. Gets uh, the, the blind kill on Mazarini through the smoke. Paradox, though, returning the op kill. Uh, sorry, the, the scope kill <laughs> on Plush. Once again, I'm talking to Tim, and I'm like, looking at Tim, and I'm thinking, op, 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 but no scope, of course. Toxin right now, about to meet up with uh, one of the MTW players, if you're not careful. He's setting up for a set nade, so uh, apparently he's got a, a player scouted. Is he going to hit? No, it does not connect, unfortunately. We're going to see Takshi finally move up. Is he going to get a kill here? He's about to meet up with one of the MTW players. I don't want to switch over and miss it. No, it does not. Our Hornies moves him down, and Thunder gets, uh, goes wild as well. Jet lag in a, uh, with another kill, and it looks like MTW wants, uh, wants that tie. Frost, Frost now, last man standing for the power game. Can he make it happen? No, Thunder mows him down. 12-11 to the score. And we are uh, we are still heading towards a tie. MTW, this is do or die time for them. Where they can uh, secure themselves a tie or where their power gaming is going to run away with this match. This is the deciding round either way. Let's see, off the spawn we've got Jachi. Jachi actually pushing up <laughs> past that statue. He's going to go for it now. Of course, this is the deciding round. This is the, the round where a lot of players want to play too passive, want to play too careful. This is especially the round where you need to be obviously uh, very aggressive and over overwhelm your opponent. There we go, Thunder and, uh, and Froster right now both going down uh, for for their respective teams, leading to a four on four situation. Let's see what uh, the power team is doing is, is up to right now. They're keeping that bomb at A. Meanwhile, they're making a lot of rackets on the on Main Street and then towards B. So they are gonna yeah they're gonna sp they're probably gonna push on to statue, push on to A. That would be my. Uh, my guess from this positioning, three to three. Meanwhile, uh, this round, deciding round. Let's see, Horny is rushing through that smoke, going all the way around. Once again, uh, towards the A side, knows there's one at the statue. That must have been uh, that must have been called. Oh, see, here's the spam coming in. There's Josh getting a kill on Lubishmir. Paradox returning his favor on Horny's two and two situation right here. Jet lag and Joshi versus Toxia and Paradox. With only 50, uh, 25 seconds on that clock, they need to actually uh, get into gear, otherwise it's all uh, for naught. And they do, Paradox with that plan, but Jet Lag comes up huge, gets a headshot on Taxio. Sold to Paradox right now, and no! Joshi with the kill on Paradox, and we are going to get a tie, because this is going to be easy to fuse. 12 to 12, and MTW proving that uh, you know even uh, even if you're behind, uh, if you, even if it is that 12 round that you lose, you can still pull back. Because, of course, this group phase is... Uh, does allow for ties, you know, and the, the group is no yet. Uh, this is uh, the, the final score. Uh, we'd like to, to make a quick note that Epileptic Gaming is starting at uh, 1, a, uh, 1 a.m. CEST, and uh, well, six hours earlier for you East Coast people. You can feed that on, uh, view that on DJWeed.tv. Meanwhile, uh, we're going to tune you guys out to some music, and I'm not sure if there's going to be another match. There might be. Oh, there is another match, so uh, we're going to be back soon for more action. Thank you for tuning in. This is the team the Steel Series Esports Challenge live from Copenhagen.